At first I was kind of skeptical. It went for two courses and then it failed. So by the third time we tried Alpha, it failed the third time. I said, you know what, I'm done with Alpha. So I just threw it on the shelf. We simply saw it as an evangelism program. Didn't really appreciate the value that it brought to the local church. This is not like a program. This, this to me is church. This is closer to the book of Acts than anything we do on Sunday mornings. Alpha, c'est bien plus qu'un cours. C'est justement, c'est une expérience. C'est une expérience. C'est vraiment une expérience de fraternité. C'est une expérience d'église. C'est une expérience où on vraiment, on se découvre enfant de Dieu, habité de l'Esprit Saint, puis on, où on découvre que l'église, c'est une famille dans laquelle je suis aimé, puis je suis appelé à participer. But often when pastors say to me, well, you know, it may work for you, it didn't work for me. Nine times out of ten, they've not run a meal. They've just treated it as a program. It's just another event you can come to, rather than using it in a, in a way that is friendly and encouraging and where anybody can ask any questions they want to ask. And, you know, you could lead people to Christ very simply if you use it as an effective tool for the harvest. There's one thing we've learned about Alpha. This is just personal experience. We have learned that we need to do it according to the program. And we find that if you don't follow it closely, if you try to do something innovative, it doesn't work as well as when you follow the directions. I had a couple come into the church and said, we've heard about Alpha, we'd like to do Alpha. And I went, yeah, you know, been there, done that, forget it, I'm not interested. So I said, all right, I'll give you one crack at it. And they said, well, you got to do it the Alpha way. I said, the Alpha way, do exactly as Alpha says. I said, all right. So they convinced me and we followed everything, right from the advertisement to the meal and making it the best meal we could make. And you know, our first, our first run through Alpha, we had 50 or 60 people and I ended up water baptizing over half of them. Unbelievable. It was when I first experienced the course as a whole and saw what happens when you have the talks with the, with the meal and with the, the process and with the small groups and the end, it was the end results of the whole thing that convinced me that uh, Alpha was something worth investing in. What I like about Alpha is that it's timeless in the sense that it's uh, postmodern. Uh, the people that created it didn't realize that they were creating a postmodern, but God in his wisdom created it around a meal where you ask questions, nobody's teaching you, it's relaxed, it's about relationships, and it fits perfectly into the mindset of the younger generations today. And it's a non-threatening environment. So many of these students that we see and, and adults, everyone that takes the course, uh, they've been hurt by Christianity. They, they have false ideas of what the church is about. And, and, and they don't want someone just preaching to them and saying, this is the way you need to live and you need to change that. I mean, all these students. If I went to them and I decided I was going to be this big campus evangelist and stand up and start telling them the way they ought to live and the way they ought to change, they'd want nothing to do with Christianity. I would just prove their preconceived idea of Christianity. What they want is someone to walk with them, be authentic about their own faith, and allow people for themselves to discover the answers to the questions they have. The pastor's job is to teach people to do the work of the ministry. And we tend to grab it towards ourselves, and that's not prolific, it doesn't create life. You've got to keep pushing it down to the people and say, you guys do it, you can do it. I'm not an administrator, but I have people who will administrate Alpha and help me make it uh, a really great event. And so I think it's not revolving around me, it's revolving around the church serving in their gifting. So our job is to spot the gifting and to encourage and to release that gifting and then to back out of the way and just keep saying, you did a great job and that's all it takes. And those lay leaders, leaders come alive. It's a great team building ministry. So things from our uh, kitchen crew who week after week is involved in preparing meals. Um, I think sometimes those are the forgotten aspects that really pull team together, where people feel like they're a part of the same thing. I think the only pitfall I've ever encountered on Alpha is when you use the wrong people to be among unbelievers. You don't want to mix people who are going to just thrust 
the gospel right down their throat. You want some people on the tables who are sensitive to people asking questions, helping them with their questions, sharing your testimony. The people in the church has grown closer, closer together and uh, learn to serve each other uh, much, much better than I expected. The impact is, has been significant. It's transformed our church. En plus de cet effet personnel, de la rencontre personnelle avec le Seigneur, puis ce savoir habiter de l'Esprit Saint, c'est que comme la fraternité est déjà vécue dans le groupe, il y a des liens de créer, alors ça se transmet à la communauté. Alpha Course has um, changed the, my thinking on evangelism totally. The, the paradigm shift of evangelism is not tough, it's a friendship and it's become so easy and it's become so enjoyable because it's friendship based. I think it has brought us together and, um, and they have come together and say, they're beginning to share their problems together and, and as a result of that they are you know, reaching out together. That, and that, that's the success of it too, it's, it's the fellowship. I mean, who else do I have dinner with 11 times in the, except my best friends or my family? So you really create strong relationships. You know, in terms of church growth, I would say a huge chunk of our church growth has been nothing more than just doing Alpha, but doing Alpha right. I would say 99% of the baptisms are connected to Alpha. Besides drawing new people into the church is its ability to, to form leaders. Uh, there is a dynamic within Alpha that guests become helpers and small groups, helpers eventually become small group leaders. And after doing several alphas, you graduate your small group leaders into the, the church and into other ministries. And you have, through that process, formed leaders. Fifty percent of Canadians, 15 to 29, have either no religious affiliation or they have a religious affiliation and no regular practice. So a whole generation of, of emerging adults are, are adrift in their spiritual lives. That doesn't mean that they don't have a spiritual hunger or a spiritual interest. I think what it says is that, that the Christian church is no longer the default answer to those spiritual quests that they find themselves on. So my, my belief is that every one of us has four or five, six people that are crying out for a relationship with God and we don't even know it. And just by simply asking, the statistics are in Canada that if we invite four people, one will come. So we all have four friends. So my belief is that everybody in our church, which is 1,600 people, all have at least four friends who one would come. We could double our church through Alpha in no time, and we're moving in that direction. I cross the country, speak to leaders at all different levels, speak in conferences, conventions of every different denomination geographically. The one constant is Alpha. People talk about the best tool out there, and it is Alpha. It's what's working today in the Canadian context. It fits right into our culture, and it is very effective for Christ. I would just say to those that um, have been considering it, but just haven't jumped in, to just jump in, to give it a try, and then you'll just uh, taste the adventure of your life.